it is 5.30. We're heading to Virginia. <laughs> So only ten and a half more hours should be fun. Got my Starbucks, got my tunes, got my Joe Rogan, got all the things necessary to get me there. Should be a fun trip. I'm looking forward to seeing the sunrise this morning. So hopefully we get that. I don't know. It's pretty rainy. All right. Peace. Stop number one is done, filled up, and we are about an hour and a half into the trip. Still have about. Nine and a half hours to go. So not exactly a sunrise, but it's still quite beautiful this morning. Daylight has finally broken and only, you know, 500 some more miles to go. We've got a lane closure. It's really cramping my style. Things were really moving along. By the way, Western Pennsylvania is beautiful. The sun is shining, it's 66 degrees, uh, windows are down. We're not in the rolling hills anymore, but um, clouds are really pretty. By the way, if you didn't hear earlier, I am on my way to Virginia. And the reason for that is because I've always wanted to go to Monticello. And when I retired from my job, I said, you know, that's like the one place that I wanted to make sure I went and I really wanted to go in the fall. I had planned originally to go a couple weeks ago, but kind of life things happen and other trips and, and stuff got planned. So I have like a two day window, <laughs> three cut, I guess, but to get down there and back. And I need to do this obviously before I start my job or before China invades. to Monticello and I'm so excited. I have always wanted to visit and finally doing it. So hopefully I'll be able to get a few videos and definitely photos for you guys to, to take, take a look at. So I'm walking the path up to Monticello right now. It's all uphill. So I'm breathing a little heavy and a lot of shape. I was told at my hotel last night that this is the best way to get up if you can. So we'll go by Jefferson's grave site.
remember to keep your ticket because you need your ticket to get back up the mountain. All right, folks, let's head up to the house. I just finished the tour inside Monticello. It was fantastic. Um, must do, must see, must come here. Um, if for nothing else, beautiful views, even though it's a cloudy day, um, there's just so much beauty everywhere. Besides the Monticello home tour, you can do the tour that is all about slavery. And they also have a garden tour. Um, I thought it was gonna be raining today, so I didn't really plan my time. Uh, to do all of those things, but I'm gonna take one last walk around this beautiful place and then get in my car and head back home. I'm on my way back down the mountain, the little mountain, it's Monticello, which I believe in Italian is little mountain or little hill or something like that. Heading back down the hill and check out the visitor center, which I heard was really nice. I missed that on the way up because I had to get to my tour. Also gonna check out the gift shop, which I also heard had some lovely items. This has been a bucket list thing of mine to do. So I'm really happy that I had an opportunity to get down here and squeeze it in before the new job starts. Definitely will come back again. I am now leaving Monticello. The museum, by the way, was fantastic little cool things in there to look at so I highly recommend going and checking it out. I grabbed uh, a couple books at the gift shop, a nice pimento cheese sa sandwich for lunch and uh, getting back on the road now. <laughs> Driving through West Virginia and we are in a super backed up traffic log. We've been stopped now for over 30 minutes. Um, it might be 40 minutes now, but there probably was an accident. But a perfect time to read my new book, Jefferson and Monticello. I'm gonna start reading a couple chapters while I'm sitting here and updates later.
just getting home. I'm gonna relax for a little bit and then, you know, put my bucket of constitutions out for those trick or treaters tonight. Have a good one, y'all. Thanks for watching. See you later. Remember that inspiration is everywhere. Work with what you've got and learn as you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So I bought this neck pillow reluctantly because whenever I would see people in the airport with a neck pillow, I would sort of make fun of them, including my husband. Um, but every time I've done a road trip, I have thought, damn, I wish I had that neck pillow with me. And I finally remembered, and I will tell you what, it is so nice on a long trip just to kind of get your head back a little bit, tilt it a little bit more support. So highly recommend driving with the neck pillow. That's my two cents.